Okay, so we are now going to talk about electroacoustic chains and that is like the main issue that we are going to be discuss, uh, discussing uh, all the time because we are not, as I told you before, we are not working with sound itself, we are talking with, we are working with audio. And what is audio? Audio is an electric representation of a sound wave. So, for example, if I have my sound wave like this uh, in a graphic and time versus volume, the same example uh, like the kick drum, if the sound goes really fast, it stays just for a little and it disappears. That would be sound. So the ideal is when you work with audio, or the audio is the representation, the ele electrical representation of this. So you have the same graphic. You have time, but instead of volume in dBs on sound level pressure, so level pressure, and you will have voltage, okay? Because we are talking about electricity. So. Uh, the electric representation of the sound should be the same. How do you do that? With microphones. There is with it comes in the game because human being created this to translate the sound that is going in the air through my voice, instrument or whatever and it's translator in translated here is transformed into electrical waves inside of the microphone. So we are going to start to talk about this now and the audio signal. Sound versus audio. Okay. <coughs> so the importance of the microphone is how good is a whole in how perfect or how translate the sound that is in the air to an electrical sound wave or electrical uh, representation. So there are different kinds of microphone that has a lot of characteristics and stuff like that but we are going to talk about two now that are the main that we are going to use in church application, even in studio application and stuff like that. But, okay, so we are going to talk about two main kinds of microphones, dynamic microphones and condenser microphones. We are going to start with the dy dynamics. It was the first one that was created. The dynamic microphones is really special and is really used uh, for some special reasons. Uh, this kind of microphones translate the sound wave to audio wave through a membrane that is here. You have a membrane. It, it is like a paper. You can feel it like that. And it just moves. It's supposed to move in the same way that the particles are moving in the air, so it moves inside like that, and it transforms it to an electrical impulse. How it does that? Um, you have the membrane, it's just like a paper, you, ha you have to imagine like that, it's a really light material that can oscillate, like it can move really fast and push forward and backward, moving with the sound and the important thing that you have to understand about this and why do you use it and why sometimes you don't want to use this is because it has I mean actually you can see it if you open one microphone sometimes it has a coil a metal coil a coil is like a wire metal wire like just rounds so it has a coil here around a magnet. So it's a magnet creating a magnetic field 
with a coil that is moving over the magnet. But what is important that the coil is just touching the membrane. It's touching it all the time. So what happened with that? It's important because it means that the membrane can move really fast. It can go if my voice can reach frequencies so high as like 20 kilohertz. We were talking about that. 20,000 hertz. This microphone cannot move so fast like that. So it will not translate so high frequency. Do you get it? But at the same time, at the same time, it's really important and it's really useful because for the same reason, it will not move so much. So that this kind of microphone can handle really low levels of sounds. You can put it in a drums or whatever, and it will never distort the sound and it will never break itself because if a membrane is really moving really backward and forward, in one point it can break. But just because of the coil, this kind of microphone will never do that. So it's really useful for percussions, for loud vocals and instruments like that, because it, it can handle it. It's not so crispy in the sound, you will not shine. The response of this kind of microphones is like, Again, we have a level, voltage, whatever, we're, we're talking about audio, and here you have frequency. This kind of microphones, everyone goes through 20, like rising, then they can cap like the whole mid range, and depends on what kind of microphones, it is built to have like a rise on the mid highs or whatever to make like the voice more pleasant or the instrument. But then because of the coil, they can translate really high frequency. So mostly of the microphones at like 15 kilohertz stop translating frequencies just because of the coil. The other kind of microphones <coughs> that will, there are several kinds of microphones, obviously, that will be you using is this kind of microphone. This is a condenser microphone. I can't show you this, but if you pick it and you look it in the light, you can see that you can, you can watch the capsule, you can see the membranes. But this is really important for uh, two reasons or m many reason actually, but point one, it's a condenser microphone. That means that inside of this, it has a circuit, like you need power, you need energy to feed the microphone or it will never work. That is why in mix board, you have a special button called phantom power. It's to power the microphone so it will start to work. And why need power? Because this kind of microphone is then, instead of having uh, a coil, it has, it works with two plates. One plate and the other plate in a special capsule and stuff. So one plate, ha it's like polarized with a uh, positive and uh, signal, how do you say? Or positive charge and the other with negative charge. So the membrane can move, can oscillate with the sound that is coming. And the difference between the positive field and the negative field will translate it into audio. So this is important because this membrane doesn't have a coil. So it can oscillate really, really fast. So this kind of microphones, all practically all kind of condenser microphones can capture frequencies through 20 Hertz 
to 20 kilohertz and really flat. Mostly of them is like, I will use the other color, sorry. Mostly of them can go like really flat and just on the end have something like that. So this is important because in that in this kind of microphones you can really feel like the the air on a voice for example you can talk to a what these microphones or this this is the same condenser microphone and it will really move fast enough to have all my s sound and the air uh, but at the same time it doesn't have a coil so it can oscillate really fast but it can handle in the same way some pressure like high high pressure like something really loud if you put this microphone probably you will hear saturation because it will try it will move really fast and the membrane will saturate okay so another characteristic is characteristic important about this kind of microphones or every microphones is the polar pattern it's like how it captures the sound so mostly of these kind of microphones the more common are they have a cardioid uh, pattern what does that mean for example if we have this microphone if we have a handle microphone oops uh, the way that it will catch the sound is like this. All that. It's like you have to imagine a balloon here. It's like all through here to here and wherever. So this is called cardioid. And it's, it's because of the herd shape, like cardio. And this is important because what kind of microphones, what kind of pollen pattern you will use uh, is important for the phone time of the sound, the source of the sound. Another kind uh, is really common, uh, is really important, especially now with new microphones, new vocal microphones, is called hypercardioid or supercardioid. They are a little bit different, but mostly of the same, that they, it, they doesn't have like this round sound, this round form is a little bit sharper, like this, and with a little bit of tail here. That kind of shape of the polar pattern is really important for vocals and uh, now, especially in shows when you have like the monitors the return on the floor because a cardio microphones with a really hard shape are really like a balloon it's really wide so even if you are moving the sounds can go and the microphone will catch it but if ha if it has this kind of form like more sharp it will just catch the sound in the front and that is very important. So if you have a speaker pointing like here or another instrument, for example, the drums or whatever, the microphone will not catch that. That is why that form is, is important. Mostly of the new microphones, vocal microphones are coming with this form. You can choose whatever. And other two important stuff is like a microphone can catch. This is the microphone can catch omnidirectional, it's called like, that is like just a circle. A uh, cardio microphone or whatever reject the sound on the back part. The capsule is just looking at me and it's not catching the sound that is coming in the back part of the capsule, but the omnidirectional one can catch sounds everywhere. It doesn't matter where it comes. For example, this kind of microphone always is omnidirectional, but you because you never know how we will point in, where is talking the person. This kind of microphone is always omnidirectional, so you have to imagine like a big circle around here that is catching the sound everywhere. 
And the other important and really recognized is, um, I will do it here, is you have a, especially in condenser microphones, you can have it in, in dynamic microphones, is, uh, I will, this is the other kind of microphone, condenser microphone, is the eight figure, it's like it captured here and it captured here. Uh, that's important for some techniques. It it does something really funny, and sounds super good. But uh, dynamic microphones just came with one polar pattern. Some special ones you can open it here, and it has a switch that you can you can switch between this and this one. But there are really a few ones, and. A uh, condenser microphone, mostly of them, can you can change the shape between this, this, and this. And this one is one of those, for example. It has a switch here in the middle. It has like the cardio shape. It means that the front of the microphones, you have to imagine like this. There is the herd shape because the capsule is looking in this direction. It has like the omnidirectional pattern that is everywhere, even if the capsule is looking at me now, it is catching like a circle, a big circle. And the eight, figure eight, it means like it's, cap it's capturing like in this side of the capture, capsule and in the other side of the capsule, like a really eight there. <laughs>